Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, can we have a chat? Let's talk about the cost of living crisis, in particular when it comes to grocery shopping. Now, I don't know about you, but when it comes to grocery shopping, we've definitely seen that the prices have gone up. And so in this video, I kind of want to talk about some of the things that we're doing that still kind of helps us to keep our food costs relatively low. So we are still able to save money, even if things are getting a bit more expensive. So just to give you some context before we were spending around 34 pounds a week which is maybe around 40 dollars just on our grocery bill so it wasn't much at all and we still ate quite well but i've definitely seen throughout the other weeks we've been spending more we've been spending on average around 38 a week which is maybe around 46 to 48 dollars so at least for us it's not a dramatic increase but obviously it's still a bit of an increase so i do want to share a few tips in terms of what we've been doing when it comes to our food budget so first of all if you've ever seen any of my Audi grocery hauls, you would know that one of the biggest things we will do is actually plan out what we're going to buy before we head to the shops. So what I would first do is try to think about the meals that we're going to have for the following week. And if any of you know my husband, you would know that he likes to have variety. He does not like to have the same food every single day. And so what I try to do is just almost stagger it, but I will also try to batch my meals at the same time. And so what I mean by this is I may make about three meals throughout the week but they won't be put together so for example on Sunday and Tuesday that will be meal one and then meal three might be Thursday or Saturday sometimes the weekends may be a little bit different because we may order a takeaway or we may have just left the house during the weekend and so it honestly depends on whether we're home or not but I will usually try to plan about three meals during the week now after that what I will do is I will actually write a list but what's also important is I will almost do a mini food audit at home so I want to check exactly what we have in the house because I want to make sure that I'm not buying the same ingredients so there may have been things that we bought the previous week that we haven't used yet so a good example when I'm doing a food audit is I will literally just have a quick look through the cupboards in the fridge and see what we have as an example we still had sweet potatoes so when we did do our shop we didn't need to buy sweet potatoes and we just needed to buy normal potatoes so doing a food audit is definitely very helpful because you don't want to duplicate stuff and I don't really want to waste things either. Once I have done my food audit and I'm pretty sure what we're going to be eating during the week, that's when we will write our list. So we have a list of just food items that we already have. This is an example, not sure if you can see it probably not I'll include like a screenshot but this is what we will write down and so as an example the plan that we had for this week was to make salmon and have that with rice that we already had we also plan to have pork chops with potatoes one of those meals we would have with sweet potato another meal we would have with roast potatoes and again it adds a little bit of variety and then also another meal we plan to have was chicken noodles and so we made sure to include all the vegetables chicken and noodles into the list as well so then once we've done our list we will then go to the shops and for us we tend to shop more at Aldi I do really like Lidl as well but we don't have a Lidl near us unfortunately the only thing with Aldi is that you have to pay to park every single week it's only a pound but you know it's a little bit annoying because most places you do have free parking oh well but we will head off to Aldi and then we will do the bulk of our shop if there is anything that's missing in Aldi that we can't get we may also go to our Tesco down the road but the goal is normally to do most of our grocery shop at Aldi just because for us I think they do have great prices but they also have very good quality as well so for me Aldi is definitely a favorite and if you're liking this video so far then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel plus I'm sure you know it's free so once we've done our shop I will literally just make the meals and even with that I will try to use as many ingredients that we have as possible because I really just don't want to waste it so for example when it came to the salmon I knew we were going to have it with rice but I wasn't too sure how I was going to make the rice and so I ended up just making some type of fried rice but pretty much used all of the ingredients we had in the fridge I think I used peppers onions bean sprouts something else probably as well and it actually ended up tasting quite nice and we had that with 
teriyaki salmon so that was one of the meals we did another meal as i've mentioned was the pork shoulder steaks so one day we did have that with sweet potato and then the other day we ended up having that with roast potatoes and we had that with mixed veg so that was all good and then also we had some chicken noodles so that's where we use the bean sprouts mostly frozen chicken breasts are bell peppers and then also the little gem lettuce as well and in terms of our lunch i mean it's pretty easy i would say so this week both myself and my husband were having sandwiches so for my husband he decided to have tuna and sweet corn and for myself i tend to have avocados and chorizo i used to actually have avocados and eggs a lot if you've seen my previous videos now we come on to lunchtime now i will basically eat eggs every single day and for some reason i'm just not bored of it i absolutely love eggs but unfortunately i found that i have quite a high sensitivity to eggs so i've had to cut it out and so even with the noodles we used to buy egg noodles i don't buy that anymore i will actually try to find rice noodles or noodles that don't have eggs included and luckily aldi does store that as well which is great another tip i would definitely give is also try to buy things that are frozen if you can as well just because they could be cheaper but they're also more likely to last longer so for example we still have some frozen fish fillets in our freezer which we bought the week before and we still haven't had to use that yet but fortunately because it's frozen it means that we can then use it for the following week for another meal and it means we need to buy less meals for the next week so definitely consider trying to buy frozen things if you can there are also things that you could potentially freeze as well so for example i tend to freeze spinach a lot just so i can use it for my smoothies and it will last longer i will also freeze my bananas for my smoothies as well and one of the things that we will also try to do is not waste anything so for example if we haven't really been eating our bananas and we haven't frozen it and it gets really really brown i'm not the biggest fan of brown bananas what we'll actually do is my husband will take it and use that to make a banana bread instead so what we're just trying to do is use as many of our ingredients in the house as possible number one so that we don't waste it but also number two we have less things to buy so it means that we can essentially save money on that because we can improvise and just try to make a meal of anything we have so as an example with this week's shop we actually spent more than we did last week so i think last week we spent around 35 pounds which is maybe 40 dollars this week and i have the receipt here this week at our Aldi, we ended up spending 43 pounds and 22 pence and we did end up going tesco but we only spent about two pounds there so in total we probably spent just under 45 for this week's shop which is actually quite a big surprise to me considering that the previous week before we spent a lot less but obviously depending on what you're buying it can fluctuate there are times where we will spend a lot more and there are also times where we will spend a lot less obviously things are getting a bit more expensive but i think there are still some ways that you could potentially save money and luckily for us our food shop hasn't drastically increased which is great and i think that's mainly because we're very intentional with our spending it's not necessarily changed very much so i still think we're doing okay but when it comes to grocery shopping i would definitely say planning out our meals in advance has really helped us as well as writing everything down i mean we don't 100 percent stick to our list there may be things that we end up buying in the store that we've just not noted down but just making sure that majority of stuff is included in that list really does help us because it means that we're not trying to aimlessly just go around the store searching for anything and everything so i'm really hoping that at least one of these tips will help you but if you do feel like you're constantly overspending and you're not really sure why it could be groceries it could be on anything else i do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching that's really designed to help you save in a way that feels easy to you and doesn't feel so restricting where you'll have the ability to stop overspending and save money at the same time so make sure you do check that out if you haven't already you can book a free call to find out more so i'll link more information up here for you and in the description below so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what other tips would you give when it comes to your grocery shop i do post every tuesday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next tuesday